So I call this video updates. Do you need to update? Now I've been flying my uh, Mini 3 Pro since the end of November, but because it's been Christmas, I haven't been particularly well at the moment, um, I've been flying my drone. So it's been probably about four weeks now I've been flying my drone, but since then there's been quite a few updates. There's been an update on the Fly app, there's been an update on the Mini 2, there's even been an update on the Mavic Air 2 or 2S. And obviously on the Mini 3 Pro, there's been quite a few updates and the controller. So the question is, can you still fly your drone without doing an update? And I would say yes and no. Uh, you can fly your drone, you don't have to update, but I would say it's advisable uh, one of the main things is the reason they do these updates, guys, is so there has been bugs, been a few problems with focusing, um, and obviously they've been adding new things as well to the drones as well. Um, and also, I think the last update they had on the free, which was about a week ago, is you can put propeller guards on the free now, and it's obviously to do with the weight, and that doesn't also, and that also means, guys. Not just the drone and the controller, but also, don't forget, you've got to update all your batteries. So, can you update? Um, so, I haven't done mine end of November. There's been three or four updates. So, my Fly app on my phone has already been updated anyway. It does it automatically. Now, if you've got a tablet, you may have to go into your Fly app and update on there. Now, don't forget, guys, on Android, uh, for some reason, Google's not doing it anymore now. So you're going to have to go onto the DJI site and check your DJI Fly app is up to date that way. So I'm going to concentrate today on my Mini 3 Pro. And I'll take you through the process of it. It's pretty easy. You just follow the instructions on the screen. So I'm going to say you need to update. Right, I'm going to take you through the whole process from, um, <laughs> sorry about the messages, it's the end of year, everybody's saying Happy New Year, and you're going to hear that in the background. So anyway, <laughs> so the first thing you want to do is turn on the controller, and while that's going on guys, one of the things I always forget usually is make sure that it's connected to the internet. So it's just starting up. Now at the moment, the red dot means that I haven't turned the drone on yet. I just want to uh, go through the settings first at the top there. Now my internet is on. Yep, yeah. so my internet's on. now. You there's a couple of notifications here. Uh, may have to calibrate my uh, remote remote controller compass calibration. Might be required. So that's obviously just giving you a, a warning. So when you will fly your drone, it may say you might, I might have to recalibrate it. I don't think I will. So anyway, we can get rid of that now. What I'll do now is turn on the drone. <clears throat> Now, I don't know how long this upload's going to be because, like I said, I missed probably two or three up new updates on the Mini 3 Pro. That's mainly because of obviously you've got the Avatar and you've got the new Mini 3, which has come out. But they have done a few things with the Mini 3 Pro as well. Right. So the first thing we've got to do, guys, is go to the three dots. We go about, <laughs> don't always go in. So my last update was the 400. I think I can safely say that's well out of date. Uh, so we just check that first. Okay, so it, it says new update. It'd be interesting to see what update it's gonna be. So 
As you can see, I've got a few there. I'll take a picture of that. So, we just go through the process of that. Now also, if you remember, you're going to have to update your extra batteries, guys, if you've got extra batteries. But at the moment, we're just going through this process and looking at it, one's for the drone and one's for the RC controller. And looking at the RC controller, it's interesting because I haven't really been watching many videos during the December period is it's to do with ads offline maps, um, which was very useful. Right, if you notice there, I've got the red light back on. Um, and that's because the drone's been turned off. Now it doesn't say anything about putting the drone back on yet. Just leave that because I expect what's going on now, it's doing the controller now. So the lights changed at the top there, it's gone blue. And you can see the, okay, so it's installing now. So that just proves, guys, um, I've missed obviously two updates on the free. And they've both been added together. We went through with the drone first, which was a smaller update. And obviously the RC uh, is a much bigger update. What you've got to make sure, guys, is that you don't lose internet connection. You've got to make sure you've uploaded at 100%, because if not, you're going to have to do it all again. Now, they do say, if you're still having problems, it's best to go onto the DJI website into their downloads and, and do it through that way, maybe through your computer. Um, but usually, it's very rarely that ever happens. So as you can see, it says the remote controller is fully installed. So we can come out of that. Now what I did say is um, you've got to do the batteries, guys. So what we do is go back into the drone, camera view, to the three dots. What we want to do now, because obviously the drone is off, um, I'll just go into about. I'm gonna, now, hopefully you've marked your batteries as well. Uh, now, also this means all your batteries, not just your normal ones, if you've got a lot one of those longer lasting ones. So I'm just gonna turn on the drone. So hopefully the drone is just, um, yeah, the drone's ready. So I'll just check for updates. Right, let's do that again because, ah, see there it is. Because it did, did say your DJI um, drone needs to be updated. So you got, up, all, we, all we're doing now is just updating the battery. So you can see there straight away, 
it's 73 percent so it's just putting in and all this is to do with is about you can put propeller guards onto your drone and obviously because of the extra weight it's allowing that extra weight so the battery knows about it and all we got to do again I mean, i've got another battery here that will need updating you just go through the same same process is what will happen once that drone battery has been updated hopefully it will just turn itself off and you just go through the whole recycle again So there it is, it's just turned just turn itself off virtually, or has it? No, it hasn't, because um, the drone's lights are still on. So it's obviously, what it's doing now is installing the software into the drone. Right, it's updated, so you've got new firmware, it's been done. The drone's been turned off. I'll just show you quickly. Let's just do that again. <clears throat> I've got three batteries. What we do, we just turn on the, the drone. So it's gone straight in already. We just let that come on. Three dots, right hand corner, about. Uh, we just check for updates again. Update. Same procedure. Okay, guys, I'm going to finish the video here. Um, so I'll be going out probably in the next couple of days to test fly the drone. I'm going to look at the the offline map thing. That's, that, that sounds interesting. I'll probably make a video of that as well. As always, I hope you enjoy these videos. Give it a thumbs. If you don't, give it a thumbs down. Um, and I'll ca catch you in another week's time with another video on uh, flying your drone. Have a great time. And I also want to wish everybody a happy new year, 2023. Just get out there and enjoy it.